Good morning, my friend, and welcome to today's morning movement with Mel, where we are focusing all on the abs. It's very imperative that we focus on having a strong core as it's the center of all movements, not even just in yoga or in your physical exercise practice, but just throughout our day-to-day -day lives. So let's go ahead and begin. If you're not already there, meet me in a nice seated position. Find those sit bones and have that nice, tall, long spine. I like to think that there's a string pulling out the crown of my head up to the sky, lifting me taller. You can place those palms down on the knees or up towards the sky and gently close those eyes. Maybe you take some deep cleansing breaths. Just honor what you need right here in this very moment. Maybe you choose to connect with a strong, victorious, audible Ujjayi breath, where you inhale and exhale through the nose and create that space in the back of the throat. With each inhale, feel the lungs extend. And each exhale, be aware of the navel pulling in towards the spine. And to continue with the theme of today, let's bring our intention to those that are our core unit of people. Let's just choose three people to connect with and show gratitude and love for. Maybe you even choose to send them a pink light of love from the heart chakra to theirs. Feeling thankful for them, for their support and what they bring to you to enrich your life. Maybe you even choose to dedicate this practice to them today. when you're ready, yogi, let's gently open the eyes and let's reach those arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Give yourself those cactus arms. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Cactus arms. One more. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale, cactus arms. This time, yogi, inhale, reach up. Exhale, take that right palm down to the floor and guide the body over to the right. Yes, reaching that left bicep towards that left ear. Feeling that nice stretch in the side body. Maybe you take the elbow down closer to the floor, keeping that left hip down to the earth. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let's guide it over to the left side. Left palm comes down, reaching that right bicep towards that right ear. Maybe you stay up here, that is okay. Feeling that nice lateral stretch in that right side. Notice the difference from one side to the other. This side for me personally feels a little tighter. And inhale, let's guide it up. Exhale, hands heart center. Beautiful, clasp those fingers together and let's just do a little wave, waking up those wrists. Yes, my right one's been a little finicky talking to me lately. There you go. And bring those arms out in front of you and just flick the fingers there, just ha, let it go. Excellent job. 
And when you're ready, go ahead and meet me in that tabletop position. Let's enjoy those nice cat cows. Wrist underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, drop the belly down to the earth. Sternum lifts up. Exhale for that cat. Press down into the earth, contracting through those shoulders. Inhale, cow. Exhale. Let's do one more here. Inhale, feeling that extension in the spine. Exhale, connecting with the flexion of that spine. Beautiful job. Reach that right arm out in front of you like you're shaking someone's hand. Extend that left leg back behind you. Option, if you can lift that left leg high and just hold, starting to connect with that core. Exhale, modified cheetah, knee to nose, elbow comes in. Inhale, extend out, yes. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, extend it out. Exhale, crunch it in. This time, yogi, extend and hold. Take the right hand out to the side, left leg out to the side. I'll turn this way so you can see better. And on your inhale, use that core to lift you up. Beautiful job. Hands come behind the head, option to interlace the fingers. Exhale, take that right elbow down to the earth and lift up, grounding in that right knee. Let's do two more. Exhale, crunching on that right side and bring it up. You're staying in that nice plane here. Beautiful. And lift it up. And let's release those palms back down to the earth and bring it back into that tabletop position. When you're ready, press it back for that down dog. Beautiful, strong yogi grip into the mat. The hips lift up and back. Yes, that belly button is pulling to spine. Maybe you choose to pedal the dog and find that neutral at some point and press the heels down towards the earth. Maybe they touch, maybe they never do, and that is a-okay. Ground into that left foot, sweep that right foot back. Exhale, mountain climber, knee to right elbow. Inhale, take it back, three point down dog. Exhale, bring it center, cheetah. Inhale, take it back, three point down dog. Exhale, cross over to the left elbow, hold. Extend that left leg out and rotate open towards the left side for that fallen triangle. Option to stay here or join me in pulsing that leg for three, two, one. And bring it in for that cheetah, hold. Take it back, three point down dog, internal rotation of the hip. Exhale, knee to nose, plant that right foot. Enjoy that runner's lunge for just a moment. Can you squeeze that left thigh? Inhale, guide yourself up for that high crescent lunge. Interlace the fingers behind the head just as you did before. Exhale, take the chest to the knee. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take it forward. Inhale, bring it up one more. Exhale, take it forward. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, release the hands, frame that right foot, step it back, look forward, shift forward, hold this high plank. Just hold a moment. You've got it right here, squeeze the core. And here we go, look forward, shift forward, lower to the knees, untuck the toes, exhale, lowers you down for that cobra, hold. Press the toenails into the earth, squeeze the thighs, you may feel the knees lift. Let's do three cobras, inhale, Lift, exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Let's take it a little deeper and bring those forearms in front of you and bring it up for that nice sphinx pose. Shoulders away from the ears. Ah, beautiful, feeling that heart energy shine forward. Amazing work. And when you're ready, lower down and press it back into that down dog. Tuck the toes underneath and take the hips back. Hold. Bring it forward to that plank. Hold. Press it back to that down dog. Yes. Beautiful. Inhale. Bring it plank. 
Option to lower to the knees. Exhale, down dog, you've got this. One more here, meet me in that high plank hold. You've got it, hold it for three, two, lower to the knees and one, meet me in that tabletop position. Now we're going to extend that left arm out in front of you like you're shaking someone's hand. Extend that right leg back option to lift the leg. Exhale, modified cheetah, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, reaching, feeling the energy radiate. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach out, keeping that internal rotation of the hip. Exhale, knee to nose, you've got it right here. Inhale, reach out, hold, yogi. Take that left arm out to the side, right foot out to the side. And here we go, inhale, guide yourself up using that core. Interlace the fingers behind you. And now we're gonna take it over to the left side, here we go. Exhale, crunch it over and bring it up. Beautiful. Exhale, take it over and inhale, guide you up. One more. Exhale. Whoo, that top is already building that heat. Inhale, come up. Beautiful. Release the arms, guide it back over and meet yourself back into that tabletop position. Press it back for that down dog. Beautiful. Strong yogi grip into the mat. You've got it. Take a cleansing breath. <sighs> if you should need it, ground into that right foot. Sweep that left foot back. Here we go. Mountain climber. Knee to elbow. Inhale. Take it back. Exhale. Take it center. Cheetah. Inhale. Three point. Exhale, cross it over the body, hold. Extend that left leg out to the side, rotate open for that falling star. Option to pulse the leg with me for three, two, and one. Beautiful, bring it center and take it back for that three point down dog. You've got it right here. Exhale, knee to nose, plant that left foot. Enjoy that runner's lunge for just a moment. Squeeze that right thigh, inhale, guide yourself up for that high crescent lunge. Interlace the fingers behind the head. Here we go. Exhale, take the heart towards that left thigh. Inhale, come up. Beautiful. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, come up. Pulling the belly button to spine, stabilizing. Exhale, forward. Inhale, come up. Here we go. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Frame that left foot. Step it back. Hold that high plank. Hold. This time, lower the elbows just a few inches and press up. Option to go on the knees. Lower down. Press up. One more. Exhale. Lower down. Inhale. Press up. Take that vinyasa. If you choose, meet me in that down dog. Beautiful job, everybody. Take a moment to reset if you need it. Here we go, ground into that left foot. Sweep that right foot back, here we go. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Plant that right foot, here we go. Bring it up, high crescent lunge, hold. Palms come behind the head, here we go. Take it forward and lift it up. Squeeze the core, squeeze that left thigh. That will help keep the balance. Grounding into that right foot, connect the breath with each movement. You've got it. This time, yogi, up and hold. Rotate open to that warrior two. Heel to arch, alignment here. This time, squeeze that left thigh. Reach forward with that right fingertip. Come up, take it into a side angle. Right forearm, right thigh. Inhale, come up, warrior two. Reach it forward, yes. Bring it back center. Right forearm to that right thigh. Try to hover, really using those obliques. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach it forward, final one. I know, come up. Take it down, forearm, beautiful. And bring it back up to that warrior two. Sweep it around, turn that left foot into that 45 degree, warrior one. Squeeze the thigh. Yes, you've got it, just hold, engaging the core here. Amazing work, we're taking it back. Airplane arms, warrior three, squeeze that right thigh. Yes, feeling the core engaging in this balanced move. Here we go, reach the fingertips up, meet me in that stork. Bend the knee, beautiful. Option to stay here with the knee bent or join me by extending the leg and we're gonna pulse it for five, Four, working those lower abs. Three, yes, two, 
and one. Bring it down, meet me in that mountain pose. Take a moment, take a breath. You've got it right here. Here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back into that plank. Look forward, shift forward. Exhale, lowers you down. Inhale, guides you up for that up dog or that cobra. Exhale, take it back into that down dog. Here we go, other side. Ground into that right foot, sweep that left foot back. Here we go, exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Plant that left foot, squeeze the thigh. Inhale, guide yourself up for that high crescent. Beautiful, squeeze the right thigh, interlace the fingers. Here we go, exhale, Ooh, hinge forward. Inhale, come up, I'm feeling it, yes. Exhale, forward. Inhale, coming up, you've got it. One more, really squeeze that thigh, press down into the earth with that left foot, here we go. Open up, warrior two, now heel to arch alignment, amazing job, you've got it. Reach with that left fingertip, bring it center, left forearm down to that left thigh, can you hover? Inhale, come up, yes. Exhale, reach forward. Keeping that nice, long, tall spine the entire time. Take it to that extended side angle. Inhale, come up, you've got it right here. Here we go, reach forward. Pressing into the blade of that right foot. You've got it right here. And come up, warrior two, hold. Here we go, square the hips forward. Take that right foot into that 45 degree angle for that warrior one. Take a moment, take a breath, here we go. Ground into that left foot, take the airplane arms back. Warrior three, can you squeeze that left thigh a little more? Can you press that right heel behind you? Yes, there you go, here we go, inhale. Bring it in for that stork, reach the fingertips up, knee comes parallel to the floor. Option to keep the knee bent or join me by extending the leg. Let's pulse it for five, woo, cramp. Four, we got it. Three, yes, two, and one. Gently lower back down, mountain pose. Meet me in that chair pose. Squeeze everything in towards the midline. Arms reach up, seat goes back. That sacrum is falling straight and true to the earth. Check yourself out. Can you see those toes? Beautiful. We're gonna pop up on those toes, and we're gonna lower down for five. Four, three, two, one. I know that felt like a little more legs than core, but here we go. Meet me in that boat pose. Finding those sit bones. Lift the legs. Arms extend out in front of you. Cross that right foot over the left, and we're going into canoe five times. Here we go. Extend and come up. Extend and come up, yes. Extend, go at your pace. Keep the knees bent if you need it. Any amount of pulsing is a good amount. And come center, hold. Left leg crosses over the right. Here we go, yes. Whew, I'm sweating, hope you are too. Really working that core today. Amazing job, it's three. We've got it, reach for the stars, reach with those fingertips. And one, great job. Plant those feet down to the earth, find those sit bones, and roll back. One vertebrae at a time, take your time. Ah, good work, gonna go into some yogi bicycles here. So just bring those fingertips behind the head, lift the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, and here we go, crossing over the body. Exhale as you twist, think about a wet washcloth. You're wringing the air out of those lungs. Almost done. And beautiful, hug the knees in towards the chest and gently release, great job. Come up onto that right forearm and press it up into that right side plank and just hold. You're not here terribly long, I promise. Just hold and let's start to pulse those hips down. Up, down, up. Now you certainly have the option to be down on those knees. If you're on the knees, maybe you choose to lift that left leg. You've got it right here. And let's thread the needle, let's go. Whew. And bring it up. You're doing absolutely phenomenal. You should be so proud of yourself. Yes, you're almost there. 
We're rotating towards the center for that forearm plank in two and one. Here we go. Drop down to the knees if you need it. Hold that forearm plank. You've got it. Just take a moment, connect with the core. Excellent work. Now you're gonna do a little pelvic thrust here. So you're gonna tuck that um, hip underneath and release. Crunch it in. <sighs> yes, and release. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, center. <sighs> Whew. Little movement, packing a big punch, I know. Come on, you're almost there. Three, Whew. two, and one. And now take it over to that left side plank hold. You've got it. Come on. I know that upper body is getting a break. Oh, so soon, I promise. <sighs> Can you reach with that right fingertip up? Can you lift that left hip a little more? Here we go. Let's pulse it. Woo. Whoop, whoop. Yes, don't take this too seriously. Don't take life too seriously. Yoga is a beautiful spiritual connecting practice, but it doesn't mean you can't have fun along the way. Here we go, thread that needle and lift. Remembering the option for those knees. Ah, woo. That tapas is real today. Ah, that's the theme. Core people, core and tapas. Final one. Amazing. Rotate back center on those forearms and lower the body back down. Meet me in that crocodile where you make a diamond shape with the pointer finger and the thumb and rest the forehead down into the mat in between in that diamond. Beautiful. Keeping that upper body and the forearms down on the mat. Squeeze the thighs and just lift the legs and lower down. Lift the legs, squeeze the glutes, lower down. Inhale, lift, hold. Now flutter kick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press it back for that child's pose. <sighs> Release that back. Amazing job here. And let's do a little more. Bring it back and take it back down to the mat. This time, you press the toenails down into the earth. Bring those arms out by your side like those goalpost arms. Press the toenails down into the earth. Squeeze the thighs and inhale, lift up. And lower it down. Inhale, lift up. And lower it down. You've got it. Inhale, lift up. And let's pulse it. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, you got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take that well-deserved child's pose once more. Feet together, knees wide. So important that we work the back as well. Our obliques actually wrap around to the back. So strong back and strong core are so, so important. And when you're ready, extend it back out and find your way onto your back. Just a little more core because you deserve it. Here we go. All right, extend that right leg up towards the sky. Left leg hovers if it's accessible and send it out. You can also bend the knees if you need to. Bring those palms together. Exhale, we're taking it to the outside of that right thigh. Here we go. Exhale, pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it center. Pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one. And switch. Here we go. Outside of left leg. Pulse it. Five, yes. Four, three, two, one. And center. This is it. Five four, three, crunch it, two, and one. Hug the knees into the chest. <sighs> Beautiful work here. And let's extend those legs up towards the sky for that waterfall. If you choose to do a headstand, a shoulder stand, take that option if that's in your practice. 
good job here. And when you're ready, bend those knees into a tabletop position and extend that left leg out. Arms can come to a T, keeping the knee in line with the hip. Guide that right knee over the body and down to the earth. Be mindful of that low back here. It worked really hard for you. And if you need to place a block or a bolster or a pillow underneath that right knee, please do so. Feel that heart rate start to come down. And guide that right knee back up. And bring that left knee in and extend that right leg out. And when you're ready, exhale, guide that left knee across the body and over to the right. Each exhale, allowing yourself to go deeper into the stretch. And guide that knee up, pressing into the palms. Be gentle. And let's hug the knees into the chest once more. And release down for that well-deserved savasana. Stay here as long as you wish. Or join me by rolling on to your favorite side. Take your time. Using that arm as a pillow. And when you're ready, guide yourself up to that seated position, finding those sit bones once more. Let's go ahead and place the hands on that solar plexus, that core, and just breathe deep into the belly, feeling the heat that we created, feeling gratitude for everything that our bodies just did for us. And let's bring those hands heart center, remembering those three core people once more, remembering you always have the opportunity to reach out to them. People love to hear how they are able to support you, how they love you, how they care for you. So pick up the phone, give that person a hug, whatever it is for you, but connect with them today and let them know that you sent them all the love and brought them into your core practice today. 
Let's bring those thumbs to that third eye. The yogi in me honors the yogi in you. I bow to you. And namaste. Thank you again so much for being here. Please subscribe, comment below, and tell me what some of your favorite moves were. And don't forget that thumbs up. And sharing is caring, so share this with all of your friends and especially those three core people. I'll see you so soon.